All right, we got to a point where I stopped letting it just run on its own without my intervention and uh, it wants to NPM install. So that's fine. I'm going to let it run that. Let me run a security audit and address any issues. By default, it's using NPM audit. Some security vulnerabilities since we don't actually need CSRF middleware for a pure API. We're using JWT tokens. What? Hold on a second. Since we are since we don't actually need cross-site request forgery middleware for a pure API, we're it's not a pure API. They built the front end, didn't they? And then it justifies it further by saying we're using JWT tokens. Let me remove the CSERF dependency and update the package JSON. Okay, so common thing that we keep seeing when it comes to a node JavaScript based application is relying on this CSERF NPM package as a dependency in projects to help with mitigating cross-site request forgery vulnerabilities. It has been deprecated and we need to use alternatives instead, but it's looking like it's just removing that and adding something else maybe. Let me reinstall without the vulnerable dependency. Okay. Okay, looks like it's done. It's saying, uh, let's let's run the server and test it. Okay, boom, SQL error. I see there's an issue with the database initialization. Let me fix the database setup by adding proper table creation logic. Okay. What's really cool about this whole process is if you have a long running agent working and you're monitoring it, it gives you the short abbreviated version of things of the steps that it's taking to complete and accomplish the task you gave it. But you can also click to expand to see each of those steps that it's taking and understand it better on what it's doing in those steps. I like having that visibility.